Yo, 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 it's Overflow. Let's get on a mo. Yeah, bro. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? First things first about the gameplay. It's not mine. It's actually by my friend Kuba. It's going to be a pretty sweet Moab in MW3 on bootleg. Figured I would switch it up with the gameplays. Not so much Black Ops 2. I mean, of course, Black Ops 2. But today I figured I'd post some MW3. So I hope that you guys do enjoy that. Let me know if you enjoy the switch up in gameplay uh, for the video, for the commentary. I'm probably going to play some World at War tonight and get some gameplay from that game. Because I love that game and you guys seem to love the switch ups, the variety in the channel. So just let me know by leaving a like if you enjoy that or uh, leave a comment about it. And first thing that I want to say is... um. I'm going to link Cuba on screen and in the description below. He's actually one of my very, very close in real life friends. And he's at 970 subscribers. I really want him to hit 1,000, you guys. So I'm going to push his channel. To be honest with you, he's gonna he's my friend. He makes really good content. Puts up a video um, nearly nearly every day. And he's really, really funny. Um, his videos probably make me laugh more so than most people's videos. Just because of his sense of humor. Um, so go ahead and check him out. Awesome gameplays. Awesome guy. Uh, get him up to a thousand subs and today I got a different kind of topic for you It's not about Call of Duty. It's not about anything like that. It's about a time that I was almost uh, Horrendously murdered by a small reptile. Okay, what's up flows don't you know I love all you all right guys if you guys did not know hold on mm. Oh my god, it's so delicious my sister brought me this like Chocolate chip frappuccino thing not really into coffee, but it's really good anyways so if you guys didn't know, I'm Mexican and Italian. That's my main heritages, heritage-i, heritage -i. And uh, so during the summer times, uh, I haven't gone lately, but I used to always go to Texas into the little border towns because that's where some of my Mexican family lives. And we would go down there for like a month, two months, whatever, hang out down there, do some stuff. But anyways, one time when we went down there, we decided that it would be a tremendously fantastic idea to go um, tubing down a river it was like i think it's like a eight hour uh like it, it's an eight hour float like you get in a tube ba basically what happens if you guys don't know what it is um you go to a river all right that's kind of a river it, you know it flows one specific way and there's like a starting point and an ending point you go to the first building you get your tubes you get your snacks whatever you want to get people bring coolers people bring food for the day because you're going to be out there all day and you basically just throw your tube in a river sit in it and it takes you down and you just kind of float down and you can see like some nature and some pe some people and stuff, um, and you're just floating down this this huge river for like all day long. It's actually really cool, really relaxing, and I want to actually go back and do that again, possibly this summer. But anyways, here's the story. So we we did that. We got in the in the tubes, and it's the first time that I had ever been tubing. Went down, you know, started floating down the river. All this stuff. At a certain point, right before you get to the end of the river, there's um, there's a few different things that you can get off and do like if you got uh, um, you can get, ah, it's just it's just so much fun but anyways uh, there's one spot where there's like a rope that's tied to a branch that you can like kind of swing off of and there's a lot of people doing that and it was kind of shifty shady sketchy because there was a huge rock right in the water like right to the left of that area so you had to make sure not to swing over there but anyways um, we went up there me and my cousins and I was with my cousins and like my uncle and stuff and so I swing off a few times and on like the fifth time of me swinging off um, I get into the water I come up and there's a huge snake the snake had to be like three and a half four feet long right in front of me and it is um, a notorious water moccasin if you guys don't know what they are they're very poisonous and um, stuff so I personally being a city boy never really see snakes I was like holy crap I had shoes on and everything because you're supposed to wear shoes when you go tubing so you don't like cut your feet on the rocks and stuff and um anyways so I am like, holy crap, this thing's gonna eat my face off right now. And it's like literally like six inches away from me. I turn around, start swimming super fast. I hear some Mexican guy go, swim for it, swim. And I'm like, oh my God, dude, I'm, I'm so scared. And then like, so I get away, I look behind me, the snake goes underwater and I assume that the snake can bite underwater. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like peeing myself over here. I swim super fast, get away, get super far away by all these people, get back in my tube. And uh, people were like, oh my god, that's the fastest that I've ever seen anybody swim in my whole life. That was crazy. Only later did I find out that water moccasins cannot bite underwater. However, it was highly frightening and everybody in the surrounding area was very scared. And they said that they rarely see snakes there. But apparently that snake wanted to eat me. 
horrible, horrible story. Then later on in the day, I put my hand in my pocket and there was like a big crab spider thing that bit my hand. And uh, overall, not my favorite time in my life. Anyways, figured it would be a funny story to tell you guys. Almost got killed by a snake, then I got bit by a crab thingy. So, subscribe if you're new, 250 likes, love you very much, and I am over and out.